I'd like to say a few things, my brethren and sisters, about the family home evening. As President Kimball addressed the Stockholm Area Conference, he pointed out the great need of home teaching and family home evening to help neutralize the ills of the world. He said the spirit of the times is worldliness. Hoodlamism is common. Supposedly good youth are recognizing, or recognized, from recognized good families express their revolt in destructive acts. Many defy the, and resist the enforcement officers. Respect for authority, secular, religious, and political, seems to be at a low ebb. The world is in turmoil. But in our time, the Lord has offered his ageless program in a new dress to give promise to return the world to sane living and true family life, family interdependence. It is to turn the, return the father to his rightful place as head of the family, to bring the mother home from social life and un, un, unemployment, the children away from unlimited fun and frolic. The home teaching program with its crowning activities, the ha family home evening, will neutralize the ill effects only if people will apply the remedy." End quote. In the October conference in 1964, President David O. McKay reintroduced the family home evening program assisted, uh, designed to assist parents in teaching the gospel in the home. Since that time, this important program has been emphasized in the church. Monday evenings have been set aside by the entire church for holding family home evenings. A beautiful manual has been prepared each year by an expert staff of writers. Over 907,000 copies of the Family Home Evening Manual are printed each year, about, about 830 in English and 77,000 in 17 other languages. They are distributed in 48 countries. In the Family Home Evening Manual of 1973-74, the First Presidency said this, may we remind you of just how important the family unit is in the overall plan of, the, of uh, our Father in Heaven. In fact, the church organization exists to assist the family and its member in, members in reaching exaltation. The primary function of Latter-day Saints homes is to ensure that every family member works to create a climate and condition in which he can grow toward perfection. For the parents, this requires a dedication of time and energy far beyond a mere providing of their children's physical needs. For the children, this means controlling their natural tendencies towards selfishness. Parents and children must be willing to put family responsibilities first in order to, ex to achieve family exaltation." End quote. As family home evening, our family home evening program has received national attention, Many individuals and groups of individuals and organizations out of the church have written for information on the program and requested the manual. To quote just a few, the Emanuel Lutheran Church of Lincoln, Nebraska wrote, I recently saw a copy of your family home evening manual. I was deeply impressed with the quality and the approach of your program. The Trinity Evangelical Divinity School of Deerfield, Illinois wrote, I have recently seen materials on family home evening. I would like very much, I would be very much interested in obtaining copies of any available material, especially the family home evening manual. The state of Oklahoma Health Department wrote, it has been brought to our attention that your church has initiated a program emphasizing family interaction called family home evening. We think that the major source of health development arises out of positive family life. We would be pleased if we could share, you could share with us information about your program. Many articles have been written by national and local press praising our efforts. The late Mr. Lewis Cassell of the United Press International wrote the following after visiting a family home evening. A child, and I quote, a child gets his most important religious instruction at home. It is very difficult for Sunday schools or any other agency of the church to communicate Christian faith to boys and girls who haven't been exposed to it through family life. 
All denominations agree on this. One denomination, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, is doing something effective to help families fill their key role in the religious nurture of children. Every Monday, there are in some 350,000 Mormon homes around the world. Parents and children are joining in observing family home evening. The most impressive aspect of the Mormon family home evening to, the outside, to this outside observer is the apparent, natural, unconscious, uh, unwilling way in which the older teenagers participate. LDS President Harold B. Lee is a strong proponent of this home evening concept, he said. He told the Mormon group, a group of Mormon leaders recently, that the most important of the Lord's work will be that which we do within our walls of our own home. President Lee said family home evening is not uh, family home evenings are own, not only are an invaluable opportunity of religious instruction, they also observe to unite, uh, uh, serve to unite families, to bridge generation gaps, and to maintain communication between parents and children. When the home functions properly, much has been done to prevent problems from happening, Mormon president told UPI. So much that we do, both in the world and in the church, is done to compensate for failure in the home. We have found that family home evening to, a family home evening to be the great assistance to parents in fostering meaningful and close family relationships, which help the home serve as sanctuaries from evil influence and as a source of strength to each family member." End quote. Numerous Mayors of cities and governors of states have uh, recognized the virtue of family solidarity and know of the soundness of family home evening program. It, uh, it, it is, is bringing, the family home evening program is bringing about. Many have issued proclamations declaring a family unity week or month. For example, one wrote this, whereas public officials throughout the United States are gravely concerned about the erosion of the family uh, unit and its effect upon society as a whole. And whereas the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has originated a family home evening program which has received worldwide recognition, the primary purpose of which is to bring the family back together through a weekly family get-together of fun, relaxation, and learning. And whereas good family relationships constitute prim the primary source of strength in our community, now I herefore, now herefore I, Fred Hoffens, mayor of the city of Houston, do hereby proclaim the month of December as Family Unity Month. A copy of another excellent proclamation has been received from the governor of Arizona, who recognized the practice of the church in teaching their children through family home evening. He commended them for this and recognized and recommended such a practice to all inhabitants of his state through this proclamation. Whereas the family is the basic and indispensable uh, institution of our society, and whereas we are observing in our nation a breakup of family life at, at a rate unprecedented in history, uh, with serious effects and repercussions in many segments of our society, particularly the welfare of children and the weakening of the single greatest strength of America, and therefore there is increased concern among all thinking Americans over the dissolution of the family and the effects such destruction pretends for our nation. Therefore, prominent religious leaders have said no success can compensate for failure in the home, and the most important work we can do is within the walls of our own home. Now, therefore, I, Jack Williams, governor of Arizona, do hereby proclaim the week beginning Sunday, June 2, 1974, as Family Week, and do call upon all serious and right-thinking Americans to reflect upon the meaning of family life to themselves, their children, and to their children's children, and to our great nation." End quote. The Church has also received from the Senate of the United States a proclamation from the 93rd Congress, commending the members for their, great, their spirit of pioneering, for the wholesome living, for their concern for their fellow men, and, for, the, and their, for their many achievements. President Kimball said these recognitions from government, state, and, and city leaders who are not, member, are not members of the church are most gratifying. 
They know what creates uh, nations and governments. They know what destroys cities and state government. They know what, uh, that the breakup of the family is the beginning of the fall of an empire. They know well that the dishonesty, immorality, and home breaking through divorce and infidelity, limited family size and adult preoccupation with entertainment and sex presages the collapse of the government." End quote. I bear you my solemn witness, my brethren and sisters, that this is the work of the Lord, that these brethren who instituted the family home naming program were greatly inspired. I see as well great inspiration as the, those who prepare the family home manual are directed. And I leave this testimony with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.